Hey guys, what's going on? So I made this video about an hour ago and I kind of didn't pay attention to certain parts of it where I show you all the video and I'm really sorry to anybody that watched it. It was super loud. I did not realize that the recording volume would be that loud. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume on that video down before playing it for y'all while going over the features. So let's go ahead and get into the video and some of the details along with the specs and all that. So this is the Wise Robot Vacuum. It's going to be $199 plus shipping for the pre-order. Normal price of $249.99 plus shipping. I'm not sure if this product will be sold anywhere but on the Wise website. But you can bet it's probably going to end up on Amazon. And it possibly, if it's good enough, will end up at like a big box retailer like Target or Walmart. So the cool feature about this robot is not only the price, but the technology behind it with the LiDAR and things like that. If you're familiar with robot vacuum cleaners, LiDAR is kind of a, uh, I wouldn't say a new technology, but it's a higher end technology. So like the Roborocks and the high end Roombas have LiDAR. And what that does, it shoots a light, uh, light signal out to tell it where it is, the proximity, and there's a lot. I'll go into more depth about that. But this is a, for $199, you're in the low, um, low to mid category, right in between, um, because we have low end at like 150, 100 to 150, which are terrible robots usually. Sometimes you can get a good one. And then you have the 200 to 350 range sometimes 400 range depending on the robot and that's the mid-range and then you have um, 500 plus range which is the high-end range and some people would categorize that different as well now I am very very curious to see how this does in um, vacuum wars um, robot vacuum wars we'll see um, but this is a room mapping path planning efficient cleaning robot so let me go ahead and lower this volume before I get yelled at again all right, so here we have the robot in this video. The model that they're they're saying they're going to be selling is a black edition, but the pictures look kind of gray, so it might be like a, a slate black. All right, so let's get to the main features. So we have a power button and a home button to go home, and then right here. Let's go ahead and pop underneath. So this is the bottom view of the robot. And under here we have a single br uh, side brush. And that single side brush will be what takes and sweeps everything off the sides into the main brush, which is right here. So this is a single side brush robot, which are on the lower end of the robot vacuum cleaners. but. Um, from what I've noticed, these can also be a kind of a headache because a single brush robot generally doesn't clean nowhere near as good as a dual brush. Now, there are some exceptions with the Roombas, um, the older ones especially. Um, but that's usually, for me, a telltale sign that there might be some side cleaning issues. But we will see. Um, you know, technology is amazing and programming to change a lot of how this robot works we have looks like in body uh, wheels they're sealed, sealed units so you'll be able to take them apart clean them but you'll have to take the whole robot apart um, front wheel looks pretty standard for most robots this is a swivel gyroscope action um, got pretty much typical tread pattern looks almost identical to the shark ion robots uh, let's say you got two tabs here remove this bottom plate for the brush and I'm sure the brush will come out it doesn't say that it's a tangle free or a um, tangle list uh, system. So I'd like to see how that does in like hair and carpet and thread and twine and rope situations. So, oops, sorry, I'm trying to adjust the volume at the same time. So lightning fast room mapping, that's going to be very interesting because most robot vacuum cleaners take several several runs to map a room. I mean, like, the shark ions, you're talking like 
tw- well, not the shark items, the shark IQs. You're talking like 20 run cycles to get a full map. Here's the LiDAR technology. It shoots out a beam of light um, to help build the uh, room. Straight line path planning, so it's going to plan paths in straight lines instead of in orbit. Looks like it's going to be a good um, crumb picker upper, um, big debris picker upper. It's got uh, stairs and boilers, um, so it'll avoid stairs, walls, obstacles. But something that I've noticed with watching all the video on it, it looks like it's going to possibly miss stuff. Because, like, on the sides of the walls, it's definitely where you need to clean. Here's the height difference, so 20 millimeter height clearance. Um, that's pretty standard, um, if not a little bit high. Um, this video makes it look really high. Control everything from your phone. So, it's got a pretty sweet looking app. Um, pretty standard map looking um, for boundary lines and everything. It's going to give you the battery charge, the amount of runtime, uh, so the area is clean. It's going to show you live um, view of how it's actually going. It's got 110 minute battery life. Uh, four, it will recharge. So, there's a lot of good stuff here. So, 110 minute battery life, that's pretty high. Um, you're talking about a high-end robot, so it's probably got some Samsung cells in it. Uh, lithium ion, obviously. So, we'll have to see what kind of batteries come in it, and if they're actually replaceable. Uh, create schedules, it's pretty common. So in all of the uh, smart Wi-Fi uh, bots, you're going to be able to schedule uh, the robot to clean certain times of night. This robot will work at night time. Um, I don't know if it has lights on it to keep it, you know, in perfect sequence or whatnot. But I know some robots do struggle with cleaning during the night or cleaning even black rugs because it thinks it's an object. Uh, the charger is a lot different than the standard charger. It is a two-prong charger, but instead of being on the floor where your um, charging pads would be. This one actually comes up to it and it actually docks straight to it. Almost like a plug. Pretty interesting. So that is the video. Now let's talk about some of the specs. So we have seven sensors um, with the LiDAR. Uh, we have Path Planity with the four core Cortex A7 processor. Uh, efficient cleaner multi-surface 20 millimeter uh, height difference clean from anywhere um, so here's the lidar breakdown it's got a 3d um, blow apart model 26 foot uh, measuring range uh, 2016 samples per second which is really good six rotations per second it's pretty fast actually I'd really like to see how this actually holds up because it, is it gonna get debris um, am I going to have to clean it? it How is it going to fare if it falls and gets dropped? Uh, kids playing with it, smearing stuff on it. You know, those are all questions that you really got to take into play. Um, we got the path planning, no path planning. Um, we have the Cortex A7, like we were saying, for the processor. We have a Maui 400 GPU. So good components there. Seven sensor group to see all directions at once. So we have a LiDAR sensor. Induction sensor, speed sensor for wheels, cliff sensors, gyroscope um, on the wheel. We have a recharging sensor. We have a collision sensor. Um, we're at uh, 2100 pascals. Let's go ahead and copy that into a calculator real quick so y'all can see in different uh, units of measurement what they will be. So for bars, we're at 21.E5 pascals, 21, uh, 210,000. Pounds per square inch is 30.45. Um, standard atmosphere is 2.07, and the tour is 15.7513. Um, NIDAC motor, pretty common. I wonder if that's going to be belt driven. Probably will be. Um, looks like it's going over some carpet right here. This is going to be uh, one of the things that we see most robots struggle with is going over 
Yeah, sorry guys. Going over um, carpet and rugs. Um, depending on what kind of rug or carpet it is, it can damage a robot severely uh, over time just by wearing it out, like shag carpet, any kind of long fiber carpet. Uh, we have the control and customize your cleaning from anywhere. Create a cleaning schedule, clean command area so you can turn it on and off, schedule it. Uh, average battery life of standard mode is two hours, um, so 120 minutes, so that's kind of off. Um, but I guess they just wanted to simplify it. Simplify, huh? Simplify it. Uh, we'll pick right back up where it left off. That's a really awesome feature that the older and cheaper robots are missing out on. So for 199 bucks, it seems like it'd be a pretty good deal. Uh, more details. Um, so we know about the processor, virtual wall, scheduling, simulated locations, virtual walls. It's a, a mid-body dustbin. Those typically don't hold as much as the rear dustbins, and I'm a fan of the rear dustbins. They seem to pick up a little bit better. But this is a HEPA filter. Um, it's good suction, it says. Vacuum Wars will, you know, tell us what what that actually is. I can't wait for him to get a hold of one. I'm sure he will. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really curious to see how big of a bin that is, how much it holds, how well the filters are, um, things like that. This brush, this bottom brush, is bugging me. I mean, the side brush. It's really, it's long. It it's far out and it seems to move pretty fast so it could be like the older robots where it slings stuff everywhere um, but yeah we'll see with that another thing is it does have a wall um, a wall sensing let me go back to the video really quick and mute it um, right here so if you look at this video, it looks like it's kind of far away from the wall. I don't know if it's that video or what, but you want these things to clean right up to your baseboards. I'm just telling you. That's where most of the crumbs and stuff is going to be. So this is probably going to be a great robot, but if it doesn't get up against the walls, wives aren't going to want it. Just a heads up. So that would be interesting to see how that turns out. Um, so we got 44 days left. It's 7,655 backers now. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go back it. Um, I plan to get one of these. I don't know if I'll get to the pre-order or not, um, money-wise. But if I do, then I'll definitely be doing a review on it. And as always, I'll be taking these apart, and I will be finding what issues they have. Um, I run these robots super hard. Uh, as you see in my videos, I will test a robot. I will fix a robot. I'll learn everything about it. The shark ions are my 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 main category just because that's what I was able to get, and that's what I have, and that's what all my friends and family have because I've pretty much given everybody one uh, after building and rebuilding and tearing apart and selling parts and all kinds of stuff. So I really want to get my hands on one of these and tear it completely apart and see how it works and see what parts will break on it and torture test it pretty much um and i do that with a lot of stuff that's how i've learned so much about the shark iron robots and the shark iq robots i know every weak point on those robots because i literally will run them and run them i'll change batteries out i'll charge three or four robots and take the batteries out and run them all in one that way i can see what happens when you run a robot for four hours straight on carpet well the motors heat up they burn out the amps go high what happens when you you know run them with water on the floor and things like that that's just stuff i do so i'm really excited for this one guys it looks like a good product it does have some weak points in my opinion uh that i talked about but if it can overcome those little slight weak points like uh, the single like this this is the biggest issue i have is a single uh side brush and maybe the censoring needs to be changed um, because it's not getting close enough to the wall or whatnot, or maybe the app, app is crap. But so far, all the Wise products, the apps have been, been awesome, phenomenal. Um, so, yeah, it's it's going to come down to how cheap is it made, 
what real world situations will it go through and work through? I know these wheels probably won't be an issue, but is it cheap plastic? I don't know what motors in it, like as far as the main brush ro motor. So, is it going to have belt issues? Is it going to have case melting issues? Uh, the suction motor, is it going to get stuff in it? Is it going to have to be cleaned out? You know, how big is the capacity? Am I going to be able to run this with my kid? Uh, every day bringing dirt and grime into the house it's gonna be really interesting to see and i'm definitely gonna have a lot of content on this one when i finally get a hold of one so stay tuned guys make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you like this video leave a uh, comment down below and hit that like button i'm sorry if you watched the first one and you got pissed off because of how loud the music was but generally when i record with obs what i'm using to record this video it doesn't take the actual full audio from YouTube but I guess since this is on their website it's kind of super well plus it is super loud already so thanks for watching guys I hope you all enjoyed this video